displays. Uh, we have a great uh, new segment coming up here called Car Corner with uh, our resident mechanic, Skid Mark. So we're going to run a couple of these to just kind of show you some real basic stuff you should know how to do with a car so that hopefully by the time you're able to get a car, you won't be as clueless about it as I still am. So take it away, Skid Mark with Car Corner. Hello, my favorite students in the whole wide world. My name is Skid Mark. You know old Luke LaPoncho, right? Well, he and me, we're like this. Well, a uh, teacher at your school, she needed a headlight change. That's old Toe Mater trying to leave, you hear him? Pretty soon he'll take off, and you can hear me a little better. I won't have to yell like this, but until he does, I'll try to talk loud enough for you. Anyway, one of your favorite faculty members, that's a teacher for you, Mango, a teacher. She needs her headlight changed. It used to be this would be the headlight on older cars. As you can see, two pieces of trim, six screws, a screwdriver, and a new bulb later, you would be on your way. But today, we have new fancy cars, so I'm going to show you, so you can help old mom or dad if you run into a situation late at night. Toe Mater, buddy, just go! Oh. Well, he's thinking about it. Anyway, I'll keep talking loudly, because he's just revving up. I guess he's just trying to ruin our shot. What we're going to do here is just pull out on two tabs, because there is no little chrome piece or trim, right? So what you got to do is, there's these two tabs, I'm going to pull up on it, I won't pull them all the way out, but here's one, and then here's another one right here, see that? Alright, alright, so like I say, you just pull up, and these little clips come right on off, and then this other one under here, we just pull it up, and then it just came off, there's little retaining clips, that's what we call them, because they retain the stuff in there. Now, uh, this whole mechanism, look at this. All right there, Miss Teacher, your whole, look at this. Pretty cool, huh? So, uh, now one is the high beam and one is the low beam, right? So, um, I happen to already know which one's which, so uh, we're just going to unplug the one back here. All right, bye-bye there, Ben Diesel, Tomator, whatever you are, get, all right, trying to tape here, all right. Now, uh, the headlights are on, but since one's burned out, which one am I supposed to replace? Which one? All right, here's what we do. Turn on the high beams. Did one come, well, that, that's the one I'm not going to replace. See, you use this deductive reasoning you're learning in math and science and history and all your other classes. So, I need to replace this one. All right, so uh, come on over, camera guy. Let me show you how you do this. Okay, and what we're going to do right here is just peel off this one because this is the one that wasn't working. Take that cap off, and here's our bad bulb. And um, if you look at it, you can see where it's kind of burned out. Sometimes the filament, that little curly part, is, uh, if I can get it off without breaking it, uh, I don't know how good the lens is, but you maybe see a little bit where it's kind of discolored right there. More commonly, the little curly part in there is broke and just kind of dangling, but that's the old one. And it doesn't take a whole lot of money, and you can obtain a brand new one. Don't even have to go to the parts store. You can go to your uh, local, well, Walmart, whatever you call those places. And so... Uh, I got this teacher the best quality Sylvania super bright bulb. All right. How many math teachers does it take to plug in a light bulb? A lot if they're high C. <laughs> anyway. So you plug this in like this. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did you get the wrong kind of bulb? Ah, <laughs> oh, my bad. My, I had it upside down. I guess it only goes on one way. Get it it together. Get... Whoa! Hey, it's working. Yay! All right. I guess I should probably turn that off right now so I don't burn myself. Stand by, safety violation. All right, well, Luke told me that Mr. Cole talks about Miss Heisey and 
her not being able to plug in bulbs and stuff at school, so that's where I got that from. But anyway, we're going to plug in our new bulb now that it's turned off and I'm not going to melt the plastic or burn myself or anything. So we just plug it right in here. See how that goes? It only goes in one way. And then you just give it a little twist, it's on. And then we got a little cover, because if I put this cover over it, it just snaps right on here like this. That way no rain gets back down inside there because rain and a bulb don't exactly mix very well together. So now we're just going to slide this back around and put in our, what do we call those clips? That retain things. See how that slides back? Isn't that cool? That's so cool. All right. Oh, the retaining clips, by the way, they're mango. I told you already. All right. See how that just fits right in here? They got grooves. This basically just slides down on this, and then it captures it from behind. That's what that's called right there. All right? So if I get this in here, and then we'll uh, finish this baby off. All right. And here's that white clip, and we just, well, you already heard it. Doesn't take much, see? Push down, and it's retained on this side. This one's kind of under this flap here. There you go. You heard it. It's clicked. It's in. It's good. It's staying. So, before I close this, you won't believe this, but I never clean up till it's done. Alright, so leave this up because if I put it down, I probably did something wrong, but if I leave it all open, it's probably going to work. Don't think about that too hard. Alright, here we go, here we go. Alright. Yep, uh, low beams. Low beams. How about this? Yep, high beams, low beams. And that, boys and girls, Marlins, extraordinaires, that's how you change a light bulb in a 2,000-something gold race car. Till then, till next time, this is Car Corner with Skid Mark. All right, now we're going to have something like Totally Random Tuesday, but the first video that I have for you today is one that's kind of near and dear to my heart.